Okay, and welcome to another how-to video. Today I'm joined by a very special VIP guest all the way from Dublin, uh, Hype Vision, actually of Let Charlie behind me. Say hello, Charlie. Hello, Dave. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. So today we've got an exciting prop proposition to show our customers and, and the wider audience, and it's the Generation 2 Colour View. So, we've got two products in front of us, and we are going to fit these outside and see what they do perform like at night, side by side. Um, compared to a, an 8 megapixel AccuSense. So, Charlie, what have we got in front of us? Well, basically what we have in front of us there is we have a 4 megapixel turret, mm -hmm. fixed lens at 2.8, mm -hmm. uh, upper color view uh, technology, second generation. And we also have a 4 megapixel bullet, again, 2.8 millimeter fixed lens, second generation, upper color view technology again. And as you can see there, it's a black uh, style design. The reason I wanted to show this black one is because a lot of people don't realise we're synonymous for our white product, but they don't understand that we also have the, um, the black model as well. Very architectural, very modern, so it is available in both black and white. So that's the black version there. Now if I just get the white turret out, uh, the white bullet out, sorry, and you can see them side by side. So inside the box you get everything you need to fit in template, the screws, but again this is what the bullet camera looks like fixed lens, adjustable bracket on the back. It doesn't come with a back box in this particular model. So don't forget, if you do need a back box, then you need to get the correct fitting back box for your application. Same with the turret camera. Whilst it does have the base, it doesn't come with a junction box, back box, wall mount, etc. So you need to account for that. What's your thoughts on the color view? Uh, color view, uh, I suppose we wanted it at Hick Vision, we wanted to introduce um, a situation where instead of, say, at night, you were just looking at, trying to uh, take detail of a black and white image. We want to introduce a situation where you can get uh, color, colorful images at night. So we introduced uh, our color view camera. We have it uh, offered in both our IP and turbo ranges. In our IP, it's our pro, it's, it falls under our Pro Series range. Initially, when we when we offered the color view technology in our G1 range, it was a supplement light with the F1 aperture. Yeah. And the, uh, the advanced sensor within it, uh, with the submit light, you were able to set it uh, either manually or have a, like an automatic setup. So the manual, you could set it up, you'd set up the schedule, say for example, that the, the light comes on at 9 o'clock at yeah. night, it says illuminated then, it was off at 5 o'clock in the morning. With the automatic, it's like a, it's like a photo cell type scenario where the submit light will illuminate, stay illuminated until uh, it gets uh, bright then the next one. So, so illuminate when it comes dark, stays illuminated then until it gets bright the next one. You'll see on the front of the bullet the two white LEDs, which are for the white supplement light that Charlie was talking about. So instead of infrared, we're using white light, which is really important. So no infrared. And again, on the turret camera, you can actually see the built-in white light there. So, and, and it, especially with this turret camera, just for those of you that want it, this is the option that's got the built-in microphone. So for those of you that want audible um, or audio recording, we can do that within this turret camera. Also, I guess from my point of view as well, with, there's a test firmware which we're actually sort of helping to test with Hype Vision Missiles about. A lot of people from the G1 platform, they fed back that it'd be really useful for the white light to flash or come on on a VCA activation, for instance. So it acts as a deterrent, like the AccuSense, um, audible yeah. and light version so and that's been tested and i have got a little test to show later on when we install this outside so people can understand how that works so yeah again, that's 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 it the the act of the turn for the, the light guard and uh, so obviously then uh, it has the accusense technology being built into the camera itself so it's a standalone module a gpu with an advanced algorithm and once once those analytics are triggered if it's uh if it's a genuine alarm if it's a human being or a vehicle being pushed to uh, whatever platform you require, um, or else the, uh, those like uh, nuisance alarms or bubble something alarms in the past, they, like light change or small animals or something like that, which is obviously a false alarm, yeah. uh, they won't be pushed as genuine alarms. And that's really important to remember. The G1 platform was like the introduction for the Color View, which sold very, very well, very popular product. But now with the AccuSense and Color View combined, it you know brings best the best of both worlds together. So not only the world's best image at night, you know, in my opinion, but obviously that target classification and the VCA to help drive down that false alarm. A lot of bang for your buck yeah, in this yeah, product. Yeah. And again, you can use these cameras with our cost-effective K-series NVRs because they run up to eight megapixels. So it does provide a, 
a very powerful but very cost effective system so it's an exciting proposition i think the next step for me is go and fit these outside all it remains for me is to say thank you very much for joining me today and introducing the product great thanks very much well, thank you very much it. thank you charlie and we'll see you soon i'm really excited about doing this video tonight so as you can see uh, it is dark outside you might not be able to see but it is uh, sort of what time is it now quarter to six already so it is dark outside so we're gonna fit this bullet camera as we talked about earlier so two white lights on the front camera fixed lens this is a 2.8 mil four megapixel so adjustable bracket sun shield fly lead for PoE or 12 volts so very very simple we're gonna strap that to the temporary thing and we'll see the benefits of the technology without the white light then with the white light so you can see the comparison of you know very very dark and then with the option of the white light but to give you a comparison, what we're also going to fit, to show you the difference between an eight megapixel powered by Dark Fighter, so the difference in technology, we're going to fit this bullet camera. So not too worried about the VCA analysis side of it, but I wanna show you the difference between a four megapixel image and an eight megapixel image. The reason being, we have the color view second generation also available in eight megapixel. They're en route in transit to DVS. It's a shame they're not gonna be here till end of December, January. Uh, so we're not gonna be able to do it in time for this video, but you'll get a much better understanding. I'll force this dark fighter into color view, uh, in, into color as an image, and then we can see the comparison between a four megapixel resolution and an eight megapixel resolution. Okay, so we've uh, fitted the camera outside now, or two cameras outside, so I'm just gonna take you a look outside to show you. I'll show you how dark it is. We do have these white lights um, fitted at DVS. So you can see the white lights along there. It is something that we are gonna turn off shortly. There are the two cameras there, side by side, both 2.8 mil, looking at the same thing. You can see it is quite dark when you look at it in comparison to the iPhone. But if we go inside to the PC, just so that you see there's no trickery here. If I just quickly open up the PC, you can see there, they're both very much lit up. So whilst uh, it is dark on the iPhone, and the iPhone 12 is a bloody good camera, you know, these cameras take it to another level. So I'm gonna go and switch off the lights now. Well, I'll do a quick intro on the actual setup of the cameras, then we'll switch off the lights to see the true performance. But I really wanted to get you a feel so you understand how they were fitted. There's no trickery, no external light, apart from the white light, which we are gonna turn off. Okay, so we now do have both cameras fitted, like I said, so we're in the comfort of our uh, nice warm office. So you can see, this is the second generation ColorView G2, so second generation. And in fact, I have got a test firmware on here, which allows us to either have the white light on solid and even flash or make brighter on an event. So I'll show you that as a little teaser towards the end. It's not quite released yet. We're just finalizing it, making some tweaks and improvements, but that's some very exciting news because we listen to your feedback. So, uh, if I just show you the out of box settings, so we've got VCA resource set to smart event, uh, face capture or monitoring, metadata, we're sending the metadata on the smart event and overlay the rule frame and target frame on the background image, absolutely fine. Standard upgrade, default reboot, etc. network settings, all of the standard settings, I'm not gonna go into this too much. The ones we really need to show for comparison is under video and audio. So we set it to four megapixel, 20 frames a second and H.265 uh, standard, not the 265 plus. So they're both on the same, so you can see the accents and color view, so that we're making them as comparable as possible. Now, under the image settings, load this up. So already you're gonna see what a fantastic image we're getting. And it is sort of 20 to seven, so it's as dark as it's going to get. So you can see that's the outside of our building with the white lights that I said, which I am gonna go and turn off um, shortly, but um, just to show you the setting. So we forced it into day mode, first of all. So we're gonna show you what it's like with the lights on. So you've got supplemental light then with the lights off. So then you can see how, how the performance looks with no white light uh, compared to a dark fighter or powered by dark fighter. So smart supplement light is off, forced into day mode, no backlight settings, and then standard out of the box settings for the rest of it. So very, very simple setup. Exposure settings, uh, Color view is one over 12 by default. You can adjust it, but uh, out of the box is one over 12 and the gain's full up. So very, very standard settings. Um, if we look at, put it back on this, so stop the live video. If we look at the uh, eight megapixel second generation, so second generation improved hardware for the AccuSense now, metadata same, 
we're going to enable the smart settings when it catches up. So smart event will enable that even though we're not too concentrated on the actual event side of it. Again, network, standard setup, video and audio. You can see we've made this full 8 megapixel, 20 frames a second, and H.265, not the plus. So we're making it as comparable as possible because I really want to show you what a 4 megapixel image looks like compared to an 8 megapixel image. So you can see the sort of detail change. So under the image, so out of the box settings again. So all we've done is, again, you can see we'll put it to normal so it's not um, enhanced in any way compared to the, these are like, uh, default uh, settings that you can set again both cameras have this so you can set the scene according we'll leave them both in normal exposure settings default 1 over 25 with full gain day night we forced it into day and turned off the infrared in day mode is no infrared backlight settings all off white balance all standard default out of the box so what i'm going to do now is show you them side by side in ivms 4200 so if i open up ivms 4200 load the view I wanted to and then make this full screen okay so you can see here second generation color view on the left 4 megapixel second generation AccuSense 8 megapixel so you can see already the color view is you know slightly brighter and um, they do both have the same field of view 2.8 mil but already I can see the color view is Color-wise, it's already outperforming the Power by Dark Fighter. You can see there the color's much better than the Power by Dark Fighter. Much more enhanced um, color in the scene. Again, four megapixel image, but with the eight megapixel image, there's more detail further back because it's a higher resolution. So if I double click on the four megapixel, lovely, lovely image. Now, even with supplementary light, if I was to give that to a customer. I'm very sure you would be happy with that. And I will go and walk in front of this camera very, very shortly. But again, even that as an image is four megapixel is absolutely stunning. Now, if I look at the eight megapixel, so again, very sharp image. There is more detail. It's, uh, you know, double the image resolution. So again, it's slightly darker because it doesn't have that color view technology. But again, it does um, have more detail in the field of view. So if I just double click on this, I'll quickly go and walk in front of the two cameras, walk around, and you should see the differences as I walk around. Okay, so I'm hoping that gave you a much better insight into like how it is with there's plenty of color um, in the scene because there's an additional supplementary light. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go and turn these outside lights off. The only thing I can't do is I can't turn any of the building or street lights off down there. When I walked to this area, you could say that's around 27 meters um, to where I walk. So the camera to where I walked is around 25 to 27 meters. That street light... Um, and the building over there is a good 40 meters, if not a little bit more away. So it's not going to have a massive influence on there, but it will have a influence. It's it's not going to be a pitch black scenario, so I can't, uh, you know, stimulate that. But we will see what it looks like um, with the color and make it as dark as possible by turning outside lights on. OK, so this is outside now. All of the lights are off. You can see there is some supplementary light, uh, two floodlights there, small floodlights in the building behind. And again, they're a good 20 meters behind. But you can see how dark it is using the iPhone, just as a reference image. It is very, very dark. You can just see the reflection of the wall. So that's a good indication of how dark it actually is out here. 
So I'm going to start the live view on the web page. The good thing about the new firmware for Hike Vision cameras is you can actually adjust a lot of the settings through the actual front end, the PTZ control, which allows you to see what changes they make in a larger scale. So you can see now we've turned all the white lights off. So we're on the color view second generation. That's still a good image compared to how dark it is outside, um, as you saw. If you presented me with that, that image as a customer, I would still be happy. I would, you know, it's, it's still a very usable image. Um, but again, you can make adjustments. If I go to the general tab, you've got normal. I can make it actually low illumination because it doesn't have much thing, which will enhance the scene even more. So you can see it gets even brighter. So considering there was no light there, to put that extra, you know, uh, low illumination in there um, really does brighten up the scene. The only thing that if you make it low illumination, you may find there's some contrails. Um, but again, I'll walk through so you can see how effective this is. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation as needed. So you can see under low illumination, the exposure time goes to one over six by default. So it's a much, much lower exposure. WDR off, we can turn that on and make it, oh, you've got to have the um, shutter enabled for that. HLC, OSD, and then obviously the video is still set to, uh, four megapixel. So again, presenting you with that. Uh, and again, if we go back to the display, you've got different modes. So you've got normal. So you can see, keep an eye on that and it will shift it back. So you can still, still a very good usable image, but again, it is a little bit darker. Uh, backlight. Still very, very nice image. But again, if we go to low illumination, I can't say illumination. Illuminati, I can say, not illumination. So we'll leave it in low illumination mode and we'll check out what it is on the other camera. So you can see seven o'clock there. Go to configuration, go to live view. This is the second generation powered by Dark Fighter, eight megapixel AccuSense camera now. So in the general, if we go to low illumination, you can see there lights off is a much darker scene, but it's still good. You know, even if you gave me that as a camera, I would still not be disappointed. If I go to low illumination, it does brighten it up. So what we will do is quickly put them side by side using IVMS 4200. Okay, so you can see side by side, both low illumination, but again, it still performs very, very well. This Color view is definitely um, a much better image than this Power by Dark Fighter. But again, um, I wouldn't be disappointed with that either. So I'm just going to walk around quickly and show you the effectiveness of the two cameras. And you can make your own mind up. I'll take my phone with me. Okay, so uh, you've seen it working now. So the beauty of the color view is, of course, the built-in white light. And this is where it's going to add a lot more to the image. So if I just escape that a second and stop. If we go back to the web page, configuration, I'm going to go to the image setting, make it normal, set this to night mode. So again, you've got the day mode night mode, auto or scheduled switch. So you can put the on off time manually in there. You know, that might suit some installations. Now in auto mode, um, it'll depend on the filtering time and the sensitivity. So I'm gonna put it to night mode to force the white light on. Smart supplement light is off. When you turn it on, it adjusts it like the infrared where an object gets close and it dims down. But we're gonna put it into night mode. Smart supplement light is off white supplement might yep and then manual so you can see there the white light has just gone on um i'm going to go outside now it has enhanced the scene already if i just double click on this go back to live view so you can adjust these accordingly go back to live view make this full screen now i'm only going to do 
uh, comparison with the white light on with the color view. The Dark Fighter doesn't have the white light, so showing it in comparison what it looks like with the light white with the white light on is probably not a good thing because it doesn't enhance it wouldn't it wouldn't work in that way in a normal circumstance i'll walk out there now the white light is on and you should see my face and body is a little is it more enhanced due to the white light it is raining out there now actually as you can see Okay, so that's what it's like with the white light on. So it does um, enhance the image quality. I hope you'd agree with that. And again, it is raining out there. Um, it won't do much for the dark fighter um, because it wouldn't have that. So it's pointless showing you um, that. So that's the white light effect. And again, if you use the PTZ control, go to general. Let's see if it'll make any difference with low illumination mode on. So that's low illumination mode. And let me just see if I can actually turn the white light on. This is a test I haven't done before, actually. So let's see if we can force it on. It may not work in low illumination. Yeah, it does work. Again, even in low illumination mode with a white light on, you just saw it come on there. Um, it's just gone off. <laughs> Oh, put it into night mode. Sorry. Um, yeah, with the white. So even then, with the white light on, you can see it's even more enhanced in low illumination mode. So what a fantastic image! Um, very, very usable. Uh, and again, it's only four megapixel, but very, very good. And as normal, it's raining down here in Cardiff. So the next test I want to do is show you something quite exciting. So we'll leave it in low illumination mode. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put it back to normal. And what we will do is put it in auto mode. We're gonna show you this test firmware, which shouldn't be long before it's released. So the white light's gone out there, as you can see. So I'm gonna go into the event, smart event, intrusion detection. We're gonna enable intrusion detection. Let's get rid of that area, clear that first. So we're gonna enable detection area uh, around here on this bank. Uh, you can do maximum and minimum object size. So maximum size could be this, minimum size could be this to uh, enhance the false alarm filtration. Humans and vehicles, we're only looking for humans now. Threshold of one second, and then sensitivity 50. Target validation, basic high, higher, or highest. We'll leave it in the default mode for now and click save. And again, you've got four areas you can play with. Same with line crossing. So it's a lot more enhanced VCA operation compared to the uh, first generation product. Same with AccuSense. I'm in schedule 24 seven. Now under the linkage method, we've got the LED light option here. So LED light will come on for 10 seconds. So let's put it 15 seconds and click save. Go to live view. Now, for instance, if if um, my product doesn't have the white, on, white light on like it doesn't now, so let's double click on this. So it doesn't have the white light on currently. So again, lovely image. There's my VCA box. When I walk into that, that should trigger. The white light should go on. One, enhance the um, image quality. But two, it'll make me look at the camera so I get more details from that person. So it's kind of uh, best of both worlds. An excellent image in low light, but also the d deterrent as well. So let me just go and test that for you.
So you can see that when I walked in that area, it's just timed out now. Even in low light, the VCA is very stable. Walked in that area two times, the white light came on. So again, enhanced the, um, the image quality, but also uh, acts as a visual deterrent. So it's a very, very powerful device. And I think moving forward, that'll be a baseline function. If the white light is on, because it's in a very low illumination and it's set to come on, actually what happens is when you walk in front of it, the LED brightness increases slightly. So it does have that step. Um, visual deterrent. What I have asked them to do is, is it able to flash? So it's a, a, a very visual deterrent, makes you look and then captures that detail during the alarm process. But let's see where we get from that. But just so you guys, it's a common question we get asked all of the time. It does have that function. And again, under configuration, we're nearly finished. Under basic event, motion detection, you do get the same uh, VCA analysis scope with motion detection. So you've got the detection target human and vehicle with the sensitivity. So again, it's that um, if, if you do use motion and some of you do, uh, you do get that uh, more stable motion um, you know, with this product. The linkage method also allows motion for the LED light. So VCA or motion, we always prefer VCA where possible. What I will do now is go and turn the uh, building lights back on. You can see with the dark fighter there, it's the infrared in the products there um, are detected, whereas in the color view they're not. Um, let me go and turn the uh, building lights back on and we'll just take another final look at what it is to what it is now. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, one thing to note is um, what I have just done actually, is I've made the AccuSense um, back to its default mode. Well, they're both back to normal now. They're, they were both in low illumination. But you can see um, when they're next to each other in normal modes, uh, there is a massive difference. Color view uh, versus the AccuSense technology. There's a big, big difference. And that's without the white light on as well. So I'll go and turn the building lights on now. We'll see the difference. But again, both very impressive. But the color view definitely has the edge, image-wise. Anyway, let me just go and uh, turn this on quickly, guys. Okay, so ah, that was a trek. So I have gone outside, turned all the lights back on. You would have seen the change there. You can see still AccuSense fantastic. The, the, the color view is uh, does take the lead on that. So that's all I wanted to show you for this video. Um, second generation color view, four megapixel, turret and bullet is in stock now with DVS. The eight megapixel is on its way, not long. And of course, AccuSense for an eight megapixel is in stock, second generation. Both fantastic products. Color view is by far the standout product, um, go-to product for image-wise anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please ask as normal. Please subscribe, comment, and share as you require. Stay tuned, stay safe. See you next week for another how-to video.